Welcome to part two of my kitchen reset. I came back to this kitchen reset with a renewed spirit and I'm grateful for that spirit because baby, let me tell you, day two didn't really go much better, but at least we got the kitchen done. So spoiler alert, the kitchen is officially reset. So as you know, the fridge gave me the blues, but the freezer was, I have to say, a bit easier. And I'm very grateful for that because listen, if the freezer gave me a headache, I probably would not have finished this kitchen. So this bottom drawer, real life, almost took a thug out. Like I literally was thinking to myself, if this does not come out, I am done with this kitchen. But I had a genius idea to just leave everything in the fridge, I mean, in the freezer. So all the shelves, all the everything, I was just gonna leave and clean it in the freezer. And I didn't think things through because I didn't defrost the freezer. So everything was frozen. So I was trying to clean it and obviously it wasn't cleaning easily because it was frozen, but I just got some hot water and let it kind of thaw a bit and then I would clean it that way. Something that I thought about as I was doing this reset on day two is the importance of how we dress as homemakers. You know, there's so much that we do on a day-to-day -day basis from the cooking to the cleaning to, you know, being with the kids and all the things we do. And I think in my head, I've had this like idealized version of how I'm gonna dress and how I'm gonna look as a homemaker. And honestly, it came from Pinterest, right? We can, we can all admit that we kind of get caught up in the hype of Pinterest. And I had to just tell myself, you know, I'm gonna dress for what best suits whatever role I'm in for the day. And so today, as you can see, you know, day one, I was wearing a dress, but then day two, I was like, you know what? I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm going to just put back on my comfy clothes and things that make a little bit more sense for me to clean. Now, I really do enjoy actually cleaning in a dress. It makes me feel super feminine and it just really helps me like embody who I am as a homemaker. But I also recognize that there are just some days and some tasks where it just makes sense to put on the pants put on the sweatshirt and just really get to work also can we talk about the fact that like as you're cleaning it's kind of mind-boggling that you're cleaning to just make another mess immediately and I thought it was really ironic because you know I didn't want anybody to like cook in the kitchen because I was currently cleaning it but then we still got it all messy because we had to order food and things were just everywhere and I just think it's just so funny how we spend so much time cleaning and doing all these things just to make the mess again and I'm grateful for that right but it's still like wow you know we do all this work just for it to like almost immediately you know not go to waste but immediately get messed up for sure so during this reset i really realized that done is better than perfect and there are a couple of things like i forgot to buy oven cleaner and i forgot to buy the thing that i wanted to clean my actual eyes like the eyes on the stove and i was like you know what this reset is still going to get done whether or not i have all the little details and all the little gadgets that i want to clean and so i actually was like going back to the list of things that i wanted to do and just giving myself grace and saying you know what Everything's not gonna get done exactly perfect, but this kitchen reset is still going to be a win. I'm still gonna touch every part of this kitchen. I'm still gonna be really intentional about making sure that I declutter and get rid of the old food and just make sure that everything gets a good scrub down. And the only thing that I have to say that is gonna be left at the end of this is that I need to clean the inside of the oven. So I didn't clean the inside of the oven with this reset, but that's something that can wait until after Christmas and we make that Christmas mess. But overall, I am super pleased with how much I was able to get done in two days. And I feel like this whole experience of doing a kitchen reset just showed me how long it actually takes to do things. Because in my mind, I thought it was gonna take like a couple of hours on a Sunday. That is not what happened at all. It ended up taking me two days. Each day was about a four hour day. And that was because I was really like getting in there. I was really getting in and cleaning and just taking my time to make sure that I was able to, you know, really um, do what I wanted to do in the kitchen. And the kitchen has been an area that, you know, we spend I mean, I'm willing to bet like 80% of our time in the kitchen. And so I really wanted to just have a solid reset. And now a few days later, the kitchen is still looking really good. And I'm really like, every time I walk in, I feel so pleased with all my hard work. But more importantly, I just feel ready to make 
things happen in this kitchen like I'm I'm so excited to add a few more decorative pieces onto like this little shelf area that we have separating the breakfast area and I'm just super excited to like cook more things and know that all my stuff is set up exactly how I want it to be set up and I am just feeling so much more like inspired to be in this space and that's interesting to say because I literally spend over half the day in the kitchen but just seeing it clean and reset and just like everything is where I want it to be there's no extra clutter oh my gosh like I'm just like ready like let's let's do all the you know homemaking baking and let's you know get the kids in the kitchen and get them cooking which we do that all the time but I'm just even more excited about doing it because the counters are clear and you know everything is just clean and to the liking that I've always wanted it to be I feel like with this kitchen reset, there was no real rhyme or reason to how and why I cleaned things and in what order I did it. But I really love that I just kind of went piece by piece and really worked on my kitchen in sections. I didn't really try to force myself to, you know, oh, I'm gonna do this first, this first, that first. I just really thought about my kitchen in terms of, okay, if I'm working in this section, I'm gonna clean this section from top to bottom. And it made things happen and like progress a lot quicker for me. And also it made it to where I didn't forget to clean in an area because I was literally going piece by piece piece by piece and really completing the whole section top to bottom getting it all done getting it all scrubbed down and then the last thing that was left for me to do was to sweep and mop the floor Thanks so much for hanging out with me at this kitchen reset and I will see you on the next one.